Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's episode of Badge Breakdown, we're going to be taking a look at the Intimidator Badge. So let's just jump right into it. The description reads as follows. Offensive players have less success shooting when contested by players with this badge. Also boost the shot defense ratings when tightly guarding an opponent. You know, intimidates offensive players, causing them to miss shots more often. Now, in previous iterations of 2K, this has been a go-to defensive badge. It's right up there with clamps as, you know, one of the top or top three badges like that you want defensively. Um, my personal opinion, I've rocked this on bronze. Um, I rocked it on silver and I've rocked it on gold. I haven't rocked this badge on Hall of Fame yet because I don't have a pure lockdown build or build that gets Hall of Fame defensive badges yet. So I can't really tell you how good of a badge this is on Hall of Fame, but I can't tell you about these three levels. Um, bronze seems to be, you know, I want to say. The sweet spot, if you're going for budget, if you're budgeting your defensive badges and you don't have a lot of badges, you have under 10 uh, defensive badges, bronze is nice. I have bronze on my 6'4 play shot, and I tend to force a lot of missed shots on a perimeter, but you, you're also going to want to make sure that you're still contesting. It doesn't work like how it does in previous years where you could just be standing next to somebody and they miss, you know, or just standing underneath the rim. And they missed the layup. Like uh, back in the days, 2K20, 2K21, you were able to just stand underneath the rim. Now, I've seen centers out of bounds standing underneath the rim, making people miss layup after layup after layup with Hall of Fame Intimidator. This year, that's not going to work, but it is going to help you with getting those contests off. Um, like I said, it, if you can get this up to like a silver or a gold, you know, I, I think you'll be okay with it but if you you know you're on a budget build with the defensive badges and you only have like defense 10 defensive badges or less then you can get away with rocking this on a bronze but if you have like 15 to 20 even 30 you want to get this as high as possible especially if you're a big man and you're playing down low you want this on hall of fame uh again my badge recommendation would be uh bronze you know or silver again if you have enough badges to get it gold you could go up to gold and obviously if you're a pure lot get it on hall of fame uh let me know in the comments what you think about intimidator man have you been using it which badge level you've been rocking it on and if you think it's necessary i don't think it's as strong as it used to be which is good but it just it just makes playing defense a lot more of a struggle you know uh that's just my take on this badge man um yeah man be sure to Drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more NBA 2K22 content and badge breakdown videos. This has been Make America Lit. I'm out.